So my research is in the area of system software. And the whole idea is as people develop hardware, the computing machines, the processing, memory, network, and storage of data, writing programs that extract the maximum value of those components has not been trivial since the 50s. So the challenge is that you, when you want to use the computer, you want to have all those programs running at the same time. You want to watch a movie and chat with a friend and write an essay and run a simulation for your class. So you have all those things that are using a single computer. Each one of those programs are written as if they have the whole computer for itself, for each one of them, but they don't. They have to share. And my research is on how to give part of the resources to the programs when they need so that they run best. What is best? Efficiency, so they run and give you the answer as quickly as possible. Is spending as uh, a little energy as possible in a way that is easy to maintain, in a way that is secure, safe in terms of cybersecurity attacks, and also that it works. So it's essentially getting computers to work. The name of the area is operating systems and uh, in another way for larger computers, distributed systems or high performance computing. But the idea is the same. You give me this huge computer with a hundred thousand processors and my research is in getting applications to really use those, not to waste any resources. So the, the, the operating systems research has been fundamental in advancing all the tools that we use now and take for granted. So networking, the internet, and having all these data centers. So the services that you use probably from many uh, big companies like Google and Facebook and Microsoft and Amazon and IBM and you name it. From all those companies, they have this huge data warehouses or these, these huge buildings full of computers and getting those computers to work so that when you do something in your own computer and you send a request that you get something back has really has a lot of value for society. It enabled us to become more efficient, do things that we couldn't do by hand, communicate, uh, you know, have all the audio, image, video processing that you now take for granted. So the continuing to research how to best use computers to avoid waste and makes them to work becomes more and more important because our society is relying on those computing systems. So we have to make sure that they work and they work consuming as little resources from our planet and as little time from people managing those systems as possible. Classes work best when it feels like a conversation of people who care. People who care about learning about a topic and uh, realizing how to better solve a problem out there. So this is all about learning. I am successful when the student leaves my class more curious about a topic than he or she was when they started. So it is about making sure that the students understand that there are no uh, a specific fact that they have to remember. This is about problem solving, identifying possible ways of attacking the problem and feeling that they can solve it. So the program uh, of uh, supporting first generation students is an initiative in the College of Engineering initiated by the community in the college in order to provide more information and a sense of community to students who are in the interesting, challenging position of being the first in their family to go uh, to get a college degree. So the program is trying to get the support that some of our students may not have had in the past. For me, this is a passion. I happen to be a first-generation student. Uh, my grandparents uh, didn't know how to read or write. Uh, my parents were not able to go to school beyond middle school and not even that. 
And the fact that I experienced education as opening so many doors for me really excites me in telling all the other students who are on a similar path that this is so valuable that education enhances our personal lives and also get us a lot of uh, professional opportunities and all of this so that we can make other people's lives better. So I, uh, I am delighted with the opportunity to work with first generation students and um, I do hope that uh, we continue to make the College of Engineering a place where students can succeed regardless of their backgrounds. So the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, part of the College of Engineering, has as a mission to you know, educate students and advance the state of art in computing. And computing these days is so, so broad. Uh, it, so we do advance uh, the view of what computers are and what computers do so that they can be improved continuously. But more than that, we get these students to understand data, computational thinking, and how to apply those concepts when they go to other domains. Notice that the languages or tools that I learned in my undergrad in the early 80s, they are obsolete right now. And all the tools and languages that I work routinely now, they did not exist uh, you know, until recently. So what I learned when I was an undergrad was to learn how to learn and understand the basics of what is uh, beyond, be, behind computational thinking. That's what we do here in the Department of Computer Science. We offer two majors, computer science and computer engineering. We have a brand new third major, which is a BA in computing. So these are all paths for the students to learn the real fundamentals in computing so that they can be out there continuing to advance computing to make our society better. Research as, uh, is one of our you know, uh, main activities and we do have around 45 uh, uh, faculty who are very active in research pursuing uh, the most important problems in our uh, current uh, technological and societal challenges and, uh, and they work with the graduate students and undergraduate students to pursue solutions to those problems. I arrived at Texas A&M roughly four years ago and uh, I was not that knowledgeable about what Texas A&M represented and I am just in awe of uh, how much people here care about our students and uh, in our state of Texas, our nation. So Texas AM for me is about doing the right thing and that means advancing science, advancing education and building the citizens of the future, uh, people that will be well prepared to make decisions in technical and non-technical spheres of our society. Texas AM is about giving back. I am uh, honored to be department head and therefore I talk to a lot of former students. I see the impact that they have outside, how they are changing the world, and I am really proud of how they look back at us and try to enable our current students to succeed also. Texas AM is about love for education, love for research, and again, doing the right thing.